I'm going to show you how to route the audio from Logic into Zoom. If you use a different digital audio workstation, this should work just as well. I use Logic, so that's what I'm going to use to demonstrate it. Now this comes in handy if you play a loud instrument such as the trombone and don't want to adjust the gain in the middle of Zoom lessons. And plus you can also add EQ or reverb or whatever else you want to make yourself sound a little nicer. Now the first thing you want to do is download a program called Soundflower. I'll put a link to that in the description below. Soundflower allows you to route your computer's audio back into itself so that you can set it as the output for one program and the input for another. In this case, Soundflower will be the output for Logic and the input for Zoom. Now once you've done that, you want to set up your, your mics in Logic. Uh, if you don't have you know fancy mics and interfaces and all that, you should be able to use the same concept with the built-in microphone. So go into, we open up Logic here to a new empty project. And for me, the mic I want to use is an input 4 on my interface. And there the device there is set fine. And then what you want to do for the output, uh, if I'd clicked device output there, it would have taken me to the same preferences window. For output here, we want to select Soundflower 2 channel. But then see, it's going to try to redo that. But we want to go back to the Scarlet. If using your built-in mic, then you'll do built-in mic. But I'm going to do that. Just confirm. Input device is the Scarlet. Output device is Soundflower. Apply changes. Do that. We can close out of that. Confirm there, it's all right. Good, create. Now, just to make sure, I'm gonna rename this, just so I'm not confused. That's the name of the microphone. So then we have record enable, which is good. We can see the level there, even though I'm using the computer mic to record this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click there, go down to track header components, oops, and we want to check this box here, input monitoring. And then we want to click that so it's orange. And see already, you can see up here at the master level that it's, it's monitoring the sound even though I'm not recording. And then from there, what we can do is we can open the mixer here and do effects. And we can put in, you know, EQs and stuff. You know, for my sake, I like, I have this preset one that I like to use. And then um, we could also even put in like a compressor if you wanted to, which is uh, the main goal. So that way we can compress or limit the, uh, the total sound output without having to do anything else. Now I'm not an expert at compression by any means, so I'm going to have to do some more research, but that's the concept that I want to use for this. Now once we do that, we have that all set up. I mean, you know, feel free to experiment more with that yourself to find what settings work for you the best. Open up Zoom here. Okay, once we're in Zoom, we're going to go up here to our settings, audio settings, and I already have the setup, but I just want to make sure you know how to do this. So your audio settings, the speaker should be your built-in output, your headphones, and then you want your input to be Soundflower. And then this will be picking up, see here I'll kind of if I snap the mic, you can see there that it's coming through. And even when I speak, it's still coming through the um, from the, the logic output. And there, and then once you go into Zoom, you should have these same settings here. And then you can you know tweak it as you need to with the, the levels and compressor and all that, so that way you don't have to adjust the gain to compensate for your playing or for your speaking. I hope this video was informative. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to it. Happy practicing and I hope this helps facilitate your lessons.